Welcome back all you fragrance fanatics and beauty babes. Today we're going to be looking at some perfumes that were love at first sniff for me. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. It is beautiful outside. The birds are chirping. The sun is shining. Like it's just it couldn't get better. It's a beautiful day and spring is here finally. <laughs> so I'm so excited. So I thought today would be a perfect time to make a video in front of my window here and just talk about some of the perfumes that were love at first sniff for me. And of course there are obvious ones that I'm not going to talk about today because, you know, I mean, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know, um, Burberry Goddess, Signature, um, those those are kind of like, I talk about them a lot, especially Burberry Goddess. <laughs> I know. But um, th those were definitely love at first sniffs. And, and for those of you who may not know, some of my absolute ride or die favorites, like Cherry Ambition, for instance, was not a love at first sniff. I did not like that one at first, but now it's like, I have to have it in my collection. So I wanted to do some other perfumes that I don't, um, I mean, I can't say I, I, I never talk, I've never talked about them before, but these are ones that I don't talk about as much as I do Burberry Goddess or some of the other ones. So we're gonna start off with devotion because this was also a love at first sniff and this came out you know not too long after Burberry Goddess did and I love both of these so much it just has the it just has this really like sour citrus and it gets better with age it gets so good with age sour citrus gummy and then it turns into the creamiest, most, oh my gosh. I just, it's so hard to describe, but when you smell it, you just, you feel like you're in heaven. Most creamiest vanilla dry down. Absolutely love this one. Um, I had an issue with it just for like a second there. And I figured out what it was. Um, so, you know, TMI, but when... <laughs> When you're, when, when I am, when it's that time of the month for me, and I'm like in the trenches of Shark Week, I have, I've found out something about myself. And please, if you're the same way, let me know. I want to know if I'm the only one out there that's like this. When you're like in the, you know, in the heart of, of Shark Week, um, does everything smell weird to you? Like, I, so that, that's what the issue was. And because I didn't realize at the time what was going on, but now that I'm learning more about myself and what I, what smells I like, what smells I don't like, and all that, my perfume journey, I found out that when it's that particular time, you know, about 48 hours, 48-ish hours, in that time frame of that month, I will, everything smells weird. Every Every perfume smells off or almost like it's spoiled or something. Um... I don't know if that's just me. I, I would love to know if somebody else experiences that as well. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so Devotion has the candied lemon. It's got orange blossom, vanilla. Um, some, some people say it's got rum and stuff in here. I don't necessarily pick up on rum, but um, all I know is that it is so, so, so good and and actually, you know what? This is the one I'm gonna wear today. This is the one I'm gonna wear today. This is what we're doing. We're doing it right now. Oh, I'm just gonna spray it all over me. Oh my God. Yeah, so as soon as I picked this up, I ran to the store when I, when I found out that this was out, ran to, ran to Sephora as quick as I could, grabbed a bottle of this, ripped the bottle, or sorry, ripped the packaging open like an animal and then just started spraying myself. I, I didn't I didn't even do like a little test spray. Like I just started spraying myself because I just, I don't know, I just had a feeling I was gonna love it and I do. So the next one we're gonna look at is Libra Le Parfum by YSL. This one is one of my first um, more 
um, expensive perfume purchases. Uh, well, at least expensive to me. But I, you know, th this was t total blind buy. Got it in, smelt. It's got saffron and some citrus notes. You've got lavender, orange blossom, vanilla, honey, and it just, it smells so um, thickly sweet and um, like a dark, rich honey. And it's just, it's so delicious and smooth, but the lavender helps kind of balance things out so it doesn't go like sickly, syrupy, syrupy sweet. Um, but, but this was definitely love at first sniff. I was like, oh my gosh, this is a keeper. <laughs> the next one we're going to look at is La Via Belle Iris Absolute. This one blew me away. Again, blind buy. Didn't know what to expect, but I bought, blind bought like a giant bottle <laughs> because I was so confident that I would love it. And um, a little bit cocky, you might say, but but it worked out in my favor because as soon as I smelled this, I was like, oh my goodness, it was it's so powdery and fresh and feminine, and there's a sweetness there, but it's not like overpowering. And I just think this is so like ultra feminine. And it was beast mode, lasted all day on my skin, amazing performance. Everything about this blew me away, but it was most definitely love at first sniff. As, as soon as I smelt it, I was like, I'm so glad I bought the full size bottle. <laughs> the next one we're gonna look at is Vanilla Vice by Sniff. I, if this was absolutely love at first sniff, and it is still a love of mine, but there for a minute, I was doubting myself. I because so many people were saying, "Ooh, it's too woody. Ooh, it doesn't smell like ice cream. Oh, I don't really like it." And because of that, all of those voices, I was thinking, "Wow, maybe, maybe it's not that great. Maybe it's, I, I don't know. You know." But it is, it just is for me. It just is. It's got this Madagascar vanilla. Oh, this is just, to me, this is the best vanilla ice cream. It just is. I don't know what other people are smelling, but I am smelling straight up like the most vanilla of vanilla ice creams. Um, and it's been left out in the sun for a little while. So it's like a vanilla milkshake that's been left out in the sun, so it's kind of melted. And that's what it smells like. Like, a, like I, I love, when I eat ice cream, I like to put mine in the microwave. Um, that's how I prefer to eat my ice cream. I like more of a, of a soupy um, kind of texture versus like, you know, like more like ice cream right out of the freezer. And same thing with my milkshakes. I like my milkshakes more, um, like liquefied versus like a thick milkshake. But but anyway, so I so this smells like a warm melted vanilla ice cream and it is delicious. And I honestly I can't wear this too often. I mean, I love it. But like some of my more 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 gourmand uh perfumes like Sweet Tooth and this one for instance if I wear them, I will get so hungry. <laughs> like it just does because it just smells like food and you just want food and then you like start overeating and it's just this whole thing. So, but, but I love this one. Absolute love at first sniff. Um, so glad I purchased it and I would definitely repurchase this because it's amazing. Sadie decided to join us for this last one that I have here. We're going to go with very sexy. I remember this came out in 2018 and I remember being out in the store um, with my eldest daughter at the time. She was still like a teen, well, how old was she? Teenage age, I can't remember exactly. 
and we walked by Victoria's Secret and I saw that there was a perfume out and I smelt it and I was like, oh, I was like, oh my God, I need this in my life. It is beautiful. And this was back when it had the original packaging. This packaging is the newer packaging. But I smelt it and I was like, it was so um, juicy and spicy. And I just, I knew I had to have it. So I bought like that day, I bought um, the candle and it came with like the body lotion and then you got the spray and then the, the perfume and then I got the rollerball perfume. Like I bought it all because I was obsessed. Um, absolute love at first sniff. And it just, it, it, it reminds me of like opening up a bag of spicy candied red hots. And um, I mean, just it just tickles my nose. Every time I even think about it, it tickles my nose, the spices. Um, just remembering how this smells, cause it just, it's absolutely, absolutely amazing. And perfect for Valentine's Day as well. So those are some perfumes that I don't normally talk about on my channel that were love at first sniff for me. I would love to know in the comment section um, what is some of your love it for sniffs. And I want to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you guys and your support. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.